forgot to think of how I want to say, hey, y'all. I got home and early. I don't know if y'all been following me that long, but I was supposed to have two jobs by now and I almost had it corrected if the other job could get their management and they safe and they truck orders correctly and they food would Then there's home life and problems, y'all. I came home and I, this is coffee from work. And I put some stuff in it to help me feel better. I was gonna put my hair up. I was gonna, I said, you need to start looking better for people to actually tune in to you. I was like, girl, I'm trying to grow my hair out. I really don't. I already been stressing losing hair. It fails me to make, I need him to know, I need everybody, this is me. Sorry, I cannot dress up and play. Sway the makeup gone. I can't. I can't. Workload, home load involves too much time. You gotta spend a whole eight hours at work. You can't even spend eight hours with your your family. Oh, you shouldn't have never had kids. Man, shut up. It don't supposed to be like that for people that have kids or don't. It is people that are struggling right now. They don't even have a kid and they think about having a kid and actually that's their dream to never have a kid. And they still struggling. I thank God for everything he has done for me and my kids. Thank y'all. Y'all, I said I wasn't going to do no video today because I was already in here writing and stuff. And I just like, I got to do a video because I cursed today at work. You heard me correctly. I curse today at work. Okay. I curse at my kids. They started it. They did. I, I don't like to curse. Don't be looking at my deodorant under my arm. I don't like to curse. I didn't curse at anybody. Like the customers or nobody. It, well, it was somebody. I don't even know if they heard me. I just know I was so ticked off at work today, bro. And when I leaned out that window towards that window, and I said, Don't mo a, a motherfucker better not say a motherfucking thing to me in this bitch. I leaned out the window and I said to myself, Girl. You about to lose your job because everybody, yeah, they curse and stuff. But you mentally know if you're cursing in public, you need to go. I done told y'all this job, this the I have never come out. I have never cursed on any job in public, period. Except when it comes to my kids and we be in public. I might cuss, but it's like... I 
will break your ass. Like that. But I cursed. And I feel like they hurt me, but I don't know. But I know damn well. They were like, okay. Everybody already feel like I turn up a lot. But nobody can't say I ever curse. And everybody always say, when they first come on board, oh, you seem like that person. And then they say, oh, you're so nice. And you so nice with the customers. All the customers love you. Maybe just one day when they was there, in their first two hours of working there, they might see me accidentally have to have a tussle war with a customer. Y'all, just think of all the customers I've seen before this customer. Obviously, it's this damn customer. Y'all be hearing the order over here. Y'all be talking out shit. But then when the customer go off on me, I'm sitting there like, I'm not going to argue with them. They be seeing me. And if you get too disrespectful, man, I just go ahead and move headset to the back. Because if you that disrespectful, I feel like I'm going to see you at the window. Someone don't even come to the window. They just call and make reports on me. To lose my job and my damn stability for my church. And then the manager can't never get it right. Y'all can't either. Hours late. People be coming. Y'all be all out the door. Y'all. Managers don't even be trying to take no break. They send everybody in the store on break. You already made more money than us. You already been sitting on your ass. You ain't ordered the truck correctly. You get on my damn nerves, most importantly. And you always come when nobody don't need your ass. When we struggling, struggling, y'all asses, I got to take care of this. Make sure to save. Y'all hold it down. Won't offer no more damn pay during these hours that we holding it down. But you got your ass in there holding it down on them wheelie chills. Then you got a whole nerve to come and fuck up the vibe that was going on in here. They don't like to deal with customers. They'll stand there and pack all day and then keep giving you the wrong damn orders. And then the customer going off on you. We already ain't got half of the damn food in the store that's supposed to be in the store. And then you you, you just come out of damn nowhere like Batman. And you want everybody to be here and there. When we've been working four and five per damn positions up here with the short staff that we got going on up in here. And you want to come out like rescue Batman. You don't know where we at, even though we done told you five damn times where we at and why you up here. It's just a rush. We can handle it. You left us a damn long all the other time. And you're standing up here getting a whole lot of shit wrong. We already been just trying to just keep our mind together because we got bills to pay. And we just trying to do stuff, even though we short staffed. I tell you today, this guest manager, I had to tell him a day. I'm like, because he done came over a couple times and he tried to talk to you. When people try to, when guys try to talk to you and you don't talk to them back, yeah, if y'all work together, you can best believe that motherfucker gonna try to just fuck with you. I said, let me just break this down here. I already said the other day when y'all tried to talk about them drawers. Do I need to go ahead and make manager? Because none of y'all asses know what the hell y'all doing up in here. You running around here with an earpiece on your ear talking to some woman that you think is your lover. But you better have the money when you come home. Because, I mean, 
you on the phone. You just on the phone. A couple of customers have complained about you as a manager just today. You keep going outside. Then you gonna have the nerve to send me on break? I ain't see your motherfucking ass clocking out every time you was going out that damn door and staying out there. Then you sent me home early because it was slow. Well, nigga, you need to go because, I mean, you only come up here 2.3 seconds out of the shift. Uh, it's clear we don't need your ass here. You ain't going to break. Maybe you need to go sit out there. Whoever that on that phone is, you need to get them all your damn attention because you've been on the phone since I clocked in. And I clock in at... Huh? Six o'clock. Used to be 5.30 until you hate us start hating on me and I try to get my second job by just being out Thursday and Friday and go back to my second job and get a good, you know, decent amount of hours. Y'all were hating on me. Y'all don't want to work with customers. Y'all want me to run the window and the front counter. Pack my own orders. Stock up my stuff. As soon as we open. I got to, I got, now, 5.30, I used to could stock up, clean up the nastiness that is that stuff. I can at least have time to maneuver around. Okay, I'm off Thursday and Friday. Okay. Y'all got, y'all sat there and hired 10, 11 people because y'all was mad because the old manager that was here we worked out an agreement. I get to go back to my second job by being off at this time. And I let y'all know that, yeah, I'm going to be starting my second job. So, y'all got mad because y'all don't even want to run the, the, the window or the front. Don't want to have to stock up. up there. Don't want to find nobody that can do it. Not saying they have it because, yeah, they got mad at me when they the new managers came and they found out I'm off. Thursday and Friday. Even I don't know why the old manager didn't let them know this how I run. Other people don't come in, but she'll be here on time and she get off late for you. That's how she ran into overtime extremely fast. The new manager, she was so mad. Her name is Shayla. She was so mad. When I said, okay, uh, I, I'm, I'm scared to go into overtime because they already been saying if you go into overtime, all this shit. So I'm like, Okay, well, this is the week that I'm gone because next week is when I start my new job. And we already, this how the store been running. She was so just upset because she was going to have to take orders and be in the front and stock up and cash out and make your own food. She ended up hiring somebody else. And letting me know, oh, you're replaceable. I mean, I'm all in the like very demure. It ain't that the new damn word y'all using, very demure. Like keeping my thoughts and my feelings to myself, girl. You will never find another like me. But you keep taking all these damn applications and interviews. Everybody that you hire, quit as fuck in a damn way. And then you hire even more people doing this job fair thing. Quit as fuck. Are uh, always there late. No call, no shows. Now she be like, "Can you um, can you stay like for the last next? I think she was here a week. Tried me up. We she, she liked me when she first got there until she found that I'm off Thursday or Friday." Now I'm off. Again, like, I, I'm, I'm constantly getting asked to always stay. Before she didn't want to ask. 
I'll be a duck, duck, chicken little in this bitch life. Can you stay? Can you stay? They ain't even doing it no more. It's K. Can you stay? It ain't even the people that got here late. It ain't even the damn people that ain't showed up two damn days in a row. It's uh uh K. Today, can you go ahead and say the um? We need you. They don't say it in them words. That'll make me feel better. Like, oh, that's nice. No, they said like, take the day, stay. Sit like a doggy. The fuck? Like, and I do. I be mean, like, I don't give a damn. Yeah, they be talking shit. Cause they be all in my face when them damn customers be complaining. Y'all don't customers be going off on my ass. I'm sorry, we don't have this. Oh, what is that? I feel bad. Cause you just drove all the way up here in your nightgown. So I'm pretty sure you thought you was gonna get a biscuit. And uh, sausage this morning and equivalent the math to get you a cheap meal, even though it's high on calories and very deadly to cause sickness in your body. But you drove up and you you wanted to get this food. I understand that you mad that we ain't got it. Understand that I just work here, girl. This ain't no manager taking your order that ordered the food truck or uh, is the owner of the store and then they just this miraculous savior. I just can tell you what we got, what we don't got. Like something as simple as, I'm sorry, we don't have this. Then they go to say, well, what do you have? I used to be able to say, Everything in the store, ma'am, except this. For the last damn, I don't even know how many years, every damn job, it's always this, 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 this. You think you done named 10 damn things, and you like, yo, yeah, you just don't have that. Then they order something else that you don't got, and you like, oh, damn, that's the 11. Like, how the hell are you supposed to remember all that stuff? I be on the headset like, I'm finna beat her ass. Cause you go off on me. <coughs> I'm actually talking to you nice. Ma'am, I don't know why it's back there on the sign. Girl, I be chilling through the headset. And you get in trouble. For chilling through the headset, just let them know. Girl, I don't even know, girl. I've been here this long and the machine still broke. You get in trouble for staying at time just gone. Girl, the grease. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I have became, I, I, I tried not to become accustomed to handing people cold food. Y'all, when I say, I be like, y'all can fire me today. I ain't handing that out, I won't eat it. They fix it right in the damn bag and send it out the door. And then you sit up here and say, oh, we slow today. No wonder not every customer is going to come back and complain. I'm the type of customer that shit was nasty. I'm not going back there. It's not the, the customer that keep coming around this motherfucker that's complaining on me. If y'all still at this one of just one good day, you will see it's the same damn $5 ass ordering customer. It want 10 cups of water, 52 sugars to go in their coffee, 18 little cups. You know, y'all got the flavor kind of milk. Just stand your ass over here. And then they keep driving up there and they're reporting some damn body when they can't get it right. But once they meet me, they gonna get it down right. I 
had one man that had to figure out he was going to order the small and then get to the one that order the large. I seen him one day in the front, and he tried that shit at the front register. I said, oh, no, oh, hell no. You done got me too damn many times in the world. You got me fucked up if you think you gonna come in here and this another person got small and you wanted the this kind. Hell no, he speak to me down to this day. You know he can't save no damn money. But he when he spoke to me today, I said I ain't in no motherfucking good mood. He was like, I know. When I was back there that speaker, cause y'all, he was like. He never smiled. Like, I don't give a damn what you say to him. Sir, it's $5,000 hanging from your, uh, your, your, your pants, lady. He just picked that shit up and like, give me that one. Like, you be like, that one. That. You gotta be like, which one that? Like, he complicated. And he wants you to guess it. And then when he get up there, he be like, no, I wanted this and then the third. See, my manager, she would give him anything that he has. I was like, that you did not say that. You give it. Then you just got to go ahead and just go on about your damn business. They say some dumb shit like... I've been the manager. I've been I've been in this position for more than 23 years, 32 years. That's your damn problem. That's why you in the same damn position you in. When people say that to me, girl, I don't give a fuck. I know what I know what my day I know what would need to come in this damn household to take care of my damn kids. If what the fuck you talking about? It need to be no more damn money, but they ain't gonna pay us no damn more money. And, and this is what it is. Back to you. Blues need to get a clue. Like, everybody in here is supposed to have a headset. Ask me where that manager is, right? The hell now. All they care about their product, and you was letting it go out the window all willy nilly, out the front store all willy nilly. I'm telling you. Wear headset, just wear headset, these customers are lying. You just replacing the food, throwing the food in the tray. I ain't want any pickles. You ain't half of the damn order. You ain't the prize, the other damn two pickles. You came in with damn one pickle. In the paper, and you like, I ain't asked for no damn pickles. She be like, just give it to him. Don't argue with the customer. I ain't arguing. I'm just saying, it's a pickle on there. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Before I just replace it. <laughs> but you keep getting on to me every damn day about the speed. And then you keep saying everybody about to lose their damn job because you losing money and food. I'm trying to help you not at this point to save on food. Stop them idiots. <laughs> but you want to tell me you've been doing this for 32 damn years? Because you the fool that'll put up with it for 32 damn years. <laughs> when I do become a manager, it won't be the manager of this established damn mint. None of you motherfucking locals around here. I ain't worked at every damn well around here, but I know the locals that I know. Can I be real with you? I mean, I know that the video is based on me cussing. Today at work, and I really feel like I need to move myself because I don't like cussing in public. I don't. I felt really bad. This man came back. This man came too. Even though I give my coast the compliments all the time, this look on my bad days. 
like him and a couple other customers love me so much, like me so much, know my energy is always upbeat. At the speaker, I was taking orders. So not me. And they would just get to the the window and they would already have a smile on their face. And I'm like, because I'm in a mask, they can't really see all my face, but I'm pretty sure if they saw my face, they'd be like, mm, no, what's going on? Because already they was like, girl, what's going on? Why you ain't happy today? I noticed, I noticed back there at the speaker, even though I just, hello, welcome to so and so. And it just made me just start smiling. I'm like, oh, hell no. Because I'm like, I want to be mad. It was just too many of them. If it was one customer, then I would have probably been, went back to, I would have had time to go back to my sad face. It was so many of them. I actually said, this finna upset me. Because why is them, they just keep giving me positive feedback. Girl, what's so wrong? Uh oh. I'm gonna pray you have a good day. Like, and you know God got you. You know you did. And I'm like, oh. Some of them didn't even speak. And then I can go back to my sad face. But not really, because I still be asking them, do they need this and then the third. But I, I I couldn't even stay mad. Thank you for being an on time God. Why y'all think I don't believe in them? Because what in the devil? I wanted to be mad. I was cussing. It's time to go home. I was looking at the clock. Y'all, when it said 51, 52, 53, I was sitting there like, do they got this motherfucker rigged? Because when I'm asleep, it moves faster than this. 58, 59. I'm like, it's time to go. I just cursed. <coughs> I know when I curse, it's time as a grown up for me to leave somewhere. Am I mature in saying that I'm just going to go to work in the morning? When I was out there on break, I said, girl, go ahead and quit. You know the job that said they'll hire you tonight if you want to start. We can talk about the machines that you. Right now, when you want to start, I was like, no, I want to be a bigger person. Try to just, I mean, it's already moving in my favor a little bit. Because they need me around this time. So they let me off. I'm about to have a Thursday and Friday back to be able to get the job. You know what's coming up in January. And then, you know, February. So... You already know what you need. Right the hell now. You need to stay at this job. Just try to fuck your way to do this one. And then start on that second one by getting everybody on one accord. Because everybody went on one accord. Now they switching matters at, at every damn time. It's a different manager. I be like, now it's the same damn employee, but y'all just keep down switching. Y'all need damn manager. You gotta train the damn manager all through the shield. What the press, how you find this. Oh, the safe is this. Oh, they crying out. <laughs> oh, you got to do this over here. Oh, you got to train them. How I got to train you and you the manager? You got no sense to be talking to me disrespectful through the shelf. I just actually helped you cover the whole damn shelf. You all, what time so-and-so come in? How this work? What nil my prayers? What time? Well, how y'all do this? Are you saying it's going to be 50 cent more an hour or what, nigga? Because I just trained you all during this shift. Every damn time it's a different manager, I help their ass. Hours. 
I'm gonna be leaving. You don't supposed to leave this though. <gasps> Ain't no damn managers here. <laughs> find out in which when they do they go off the food I'm just a mule y'all I can't this girl she said you have to stop I thought I was so much older than her then she found out how old I was she was like you're not old cause they always be saying I'm not old girl I'm old but she was like you have to stop. I remember my mama saying it. I remember a couple of people saying it. Employees even. My, you know, people that I work with saying, you the billy goat, basically. You the snapping turla. You gonna do what you got to do to stay on the clock. And that's a problem. Y'all, she shut down the drive through She went out there and shut down the whole drive through in the middle of the shield fire. The manager was there. Because the headsets that I tussle with every day, over five to ten damn headsets, no, no, no work. She got on there one day, y'all, and she was like, she stuck to the back. Went to the back is what I see. Because I can't believe you even snuck to the back. Girl, the, 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 the owner here, like. You don't even do that with a manager. You don't even do that. She went back there. Nobody didn't know that she shut it down. Except for me. But I'm seeing her. And I'm hearing her. She shut it down. Then she was like, every time she work over there, can, uh, car only, no cash. <laughs> Whoa. If y'all had y'all headset on, boy, y'all done missed so much motherfucking money. <laughs> I feel like they know that they missed a little money because they always be pushing me to be over there. 